Hey guys, how you doing? Putnam Brew here. First brew day, July 4th. On the new system, we're gonna check it on out. I made a, uh, a duplicate of a, a kettle rim system, so I'm pretty excited. And guess what we're gonna make today? A nice lawnmower beer, or cream ale. Should be pretty awesome. So stay tuned, we're gonna check that out on out, and uh, I'll see you then. Up our strike water right now. I do a full volume mash, uh, no sparge with this, and it's been about 10 minutes or so to bring uh, 65 degree water um, all the way up to about 100 degrees so far. Um, I have it recirculating. Just put in a whirlpool arm. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but. You get stuff recirculating, which is great. Heating up. Yeah, so I'm pretty stoked. Uh, first brew day on the new system, going full electric. We're gonna see how long it takes. Uh, usually my brew days were around six hours, six and a half. I'm hoping to be to cut it a couple hours, so about four, four and a half hours. Oh, and I have a new kind of flow uh, wort chiller that we're gonna check out and see how quickly it, uh, it actually chills wort for us, which will be awesome. Pretty excited. Stay tuned. I'll uh, come back when we're, when we're ready to dough in. All right, guys, we uh, just doughed in. I'll post the recipe down below in the description, but uh, we're gonna get everything all mixed up here, make sure we have no dough balls. Make sure all the grain is completely soaked. We'll give it a minute or two to rest. I'll boil off and then uh, I will continue recirculation. And usually in my old system, I was getting around 76% efficiency. Um, the version we have in my buddy's house, we're able to get 83. So we'll see uh, what this will produce, see if it's any better. Beautiful. All right, we're at the end of the mash. We're uh, getting to mash out temps. Gonna let that sit there for about 10 minutes or so. We'll check our gravity, see how it's doing. We got our laptop going with Brewer's Friend and, uh, and Beersmith 3, which I'm checking out. So hopefully that'll be kind of cool. And uh, we'll be back once we're ready for the boil. All right, guys, so uh, we're at the boil stage now. We're waiting for it to come up to boil. So far, doing so good. Efficiency ended up being right around 70% uh, for pre-boil. So I think I lost a little bit of water when I was trying to tighten up my fittings uh, for the new system. And then when I did top it off with water, I think I had a little bit too much. So I think that may be it. Only missed uh, the starting gravity by about three points. So it's nothing major, nothing huge. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but we'll see how it goes with uh, the next few brews. So right now, we got uh, the kettle heating and uh, gonna get to boil and then add our ounce of cluster. See you then. All right guys, we're at the boil. Uh, we're about to add our uh, ounce of cluster hops. Pretty excited, it's gonna smell awesome in here. Here we go. Beautiful. Got those incorporated. I can probably dial back the uh, boil a little bit. We're at 70%, I bet you I could probably go down to 60. But I'm uh, gonna start the timer. And uh, we'll see you when it's ready to chill. All right, here we are transferring, sitting right around 69 degrees, first pass, which is awesome. So now I'm going to, uh, yeah, let it do its thing, let that fill up, pitch the yeast, and we'll be uh, back with the tasting.